So now, let us look about uh, politics as power. Okay? Actually, power is a very important element in politics. We cannot really talk about politics without regarding power. Okay? And power is related also to authority and legitimacy. Don't worry, we will have a discussion to that later on. Okay? But according to Hans Morgenthau, he viewed politics as the struggle for power. This is very true, as you observe in our government today. Why politicians run? Okay? Let us just say they want to serve the people. Okay? But there is this desire for them, for power. But, so, Hank Morgan Tauden is implying that all political activities have something to do with power. An individual who are part of a political community aim for more power. Yeah. So to know more about Hans Morgenthau and his scholarly works on power, you can read his book. Okay? What's the title of the book? The Balance of Power. Maganda yan. Basahin nyo. Okay? What is power then? Power is the ability of a person to make someone do something that someone would otherwise not do. In short, power is an ability to make a person do something that that person does not want to do. For example, na tayong lumayo inside your classroom, okay? the teacher has power over the students. If the teacher, for example, will require the students to read numerous pages of readings, to make case analysis, okay, the student will have no choice but to do it or fail grade. Okay? So, power then is really important aspect of politics. Now, on the government level, the government has the power to legislate. When we say the power to legislate is the power of the government, particularly the legislative branch of government, to create laws. Okay? They can make policies or laws so that they can influence, they can control, or they can limit the behavior of the people in the, in the society. Okay? Under the sovereign, under the sovereignty of the state. Yeah. For example, the anti-selfie law. What if the government would pass a law that would criminalize people taking selfies in public? Okay? And the reason of the government in passing this law is that like that. The government may use the rising crimes in relation to people being victimized in social media. Okay? Kailan lang ba yung nirecord niya yung sarili niya? Ba? To have an extreme challenge of hanging in the roof of a building tapos hindi niya nahawakan, mahulog. Ha? So what if the government will use that? in passing a bill, okay, not allowing people to have selfies in public. Of course, a lot of people who are part of this social media or this social media culture would react negatively. Diba? However, since this is a legislation, batas na ito, okay, the people would not have any choice if they would want to question the law, they should undergo the due process required by the law. Okay? Yan. So basically, the examples given above are clear illustrations of how power works. And in relation to power, the concept of authority, legitimacy, influence, and even coercion are important in understanding power better. So we will have a separate discussion of these concepts at a later time. Okay. 
Now, how about politics as conflict? Actually, conflict will always be part of politics. Lalo lalo lang ngayon, di ba? Yung awayan ng dalawang grupo. Yung DDS, yung Yellow Tarts na sinasabi nila. Ha? Conflict will always be part of politics. Because in the first place, it is part of human life. But why conflict happens? Okay? Bakit nangyayari kasi yung mga ganitong klase ng conflict? Conflicts arise because of human rationality. Since we are rational, we have our own interest. Tama? We have our own interest and this cannot be avoided since human beings use their rationality in different ways. Okay? So the problem is that we have different perspectives on what happiness is. Okay? Diba? Sabi natin kanina, humans have telos. Okay? And we use our rational, rationality to attain this telos. Pero nga, the problem is that we have different perspectives and we have different means to achieve happiness. Okay? That's why conflicts arise. Now, how do we resolve conflict like this? Okay. By using politics to resolve it. Okay. Because politics involve the concept of compromise, which would refer to both parties meeting halfway. Meaning that the two parties who are in conflict must sacrifice a part of their interest so that they would come up with an agreement that is beneficial to both parties. Okay? And to come up with a compromise, the conflicting parties can resolve this among themselves. Like for example, in a circle of friends. Okay? Yung isa gusto niya mulang gumala kayo. Pero yung isa gusto mag-review kasi malapit na ang quiz. For an exam. Ha? Tapos sasabihin ng isa, Parang hindi ka naman tunay na kaibigan. So, nangyayari na yung conflict inside or among the friends, among the members. Okay? So, how will you solve the conflict? By using politics. Okay? And using the concept of compromise. Okay? And the resolution of the conflict is very important. Okay? So that society will live in a harmonious way. Kasi kung puro conflict na lang nangyayari, but there is no compromise, okay, the society will be in chaos. I tell you, the society will be in chaos and disorder will happen. Ang kawawa dito, yung mga kababaihan, matatanda, wala nang lakas para ipaglaban ang kanilang karapatan. That is why politics must involve compromise in solving conflicts. Okay? Yeah. And lastly, politics and decision making. When individuals make decisions, di ba? Napakahalaga to consider all the possible alternatives. Okay? Meaning, to make a good decision, an individual must weigh, kailangan nyo mulang pibangin lahat ng alternatives to come up with the best decision. At nangyari na yan sa inyo, when deciding on something, diba, dami yung mga choices and possible alternatives before you decide on what to do. Okay? So meaning, being rational, Humans use their rationality also to make decisions. Yan. And according to rational choice theory, human beings make decisions based on their utility since they are utility maximizers. What does that mean? That means that it is assumed, assumed or assumed, okay, that a decision 
that an individual makes, okay, is the most utility maximizing decision. Halimbawa, when it comes to choosing a product, for example, between Colgate and Close Up or Happy, bakit pinipili mo ang Colgate? Kasi sa tingin mo, it will Kasi sa tingin mo, it will make the product produce the best result in you. Pero pare-parehas naman itong mga toothpaste, di ba? Pero we will look into that. How humans are considered utility maximizers. Maganda din pag-usapan niya. When we decide, bakit tinitingnan natin kung ano yung benefit na nakukuha natin? Di ba parang selfish yun? Well, di ba? Pag-usapan natin yan later on as we go through with our lesson. Okay? Another example is that a voter will vote for a candidate who he thinks will represent his interest. Tama nga naman. Why should I vote for a candidate that will not really give or fight for my interest? Okay? Why should I vote for a candidate that will not really make the society a better place. Yun naman ang gusto natin, di ba? Okay? For a politician to really give services to the people. In the context of government, decision-making is different from individuals or groups. Napakabigat para sa government na mag-decide. Okay? Malalaman nyo yan pag nasa gobyerno na kayo later on. Because the state cannot simply rely on any individual and group interest. Okay? The government must consider the interest of all social organizations in society. Not just the interest of a few, but all the interest of all the members of the society. Okay? Meaning, it must be able to balance the interest so that they can come up with a decision that considers the common good. An example to this is giving budget to the different sectors of the society. Napakahirap nun for the government to decide. Diba? Sino dapat ang bibigyan ng mas malaking pondo at bakit mas maliit dito sa parte na to? Okay? I tell you, the government is doing yung lahat ng kanila kailangan gawin at yung kakayanan nila para mapustro lahat ng services that are being provided by the government to the people okay, by looking and considering all social organizations in our society. Kaya kung minsan, reklamo tayo ng reklamo, pero hindi naman natin alam kung paano ba yung war kids, yung processes na ginagawa ng kobyan natin to give us and provide us services. Ba? Social services, healthcare services na makakatulong sa pagpapabuti ng ating lipunan. Okay? So, decision making on the government level is not an easy task because they must be able to balance all the interests. Okay, ilang interest yan? Na dinami-dami ng tao sa Pilipinas, for example, at magkakaiba tayo ng interest. Okay? Masakit sa ulo yan ng gobyerno. Yan. Now, the difficulty of the decision made by the government is that there is a possibility that it will contradict with the interest of some social organizations. Ang dami na natin nakita that the decision of government is not good to other groups. Kaya nagwewelga, nagrarally. There are decisions of the government na sa tingin natin palpak. That is why we are airing our grievances and opinions against the government. At hindi yun masama. Because that is part of our freedom. Okay? But had you ever asked yourself, naging solusyon ka din ba sa problema ang kinakaharap ng ating gobyerno? Diba? Because the solution to this 
is to make the decision making process democratic. Hindi naman basta-basta magde-decide ng gobyerno without balancing or weighing all the factors that are needed. Okay? In making decision. At yung decision na yan is deliberative. Meaning to say, it had undergone processes so that we could come up with a decision wherein most people, if not everyone, are involved. Ha? The question is, involved ka ba in looking solutions to the problems? Kasi the government cannot do it alone. Kailangan din tayo ng gobyerno. Okay? So politics here, as decision making, is also important for us to realize kung ano nga ba yung nagagawa natin para sa taong bayan. Okay? Member ka man ng government, government officials man ang mga kakilala mo, okay? Whether you are pro-government or anti-government, you must also have to ask yourself, did I contribute to the problems or did I contribute solutions? Okay? in order to solve the problem of the society. Okay? Yeah. So now that you learned a lot about politics, you are now ready to answer the activity given to you. Good luck and God bless. Okay? You can also have an advanced reading about government and governance and also the origins and evolution of political science. See you next week for a more indulging and sa uh, challenging discussion. Again, hashtag get political. Okay? See you soon. Bye-bye. God bless, but do not forget to answer the activity given to you. Okay? Bye-bye.